okay. Uh, so we have 17, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Mm -hmm. Let's just start combat and see what happens here. Then I'm gonna probably wait. How much damage can these guys do? 17. They can't kill an Archangel. They can't kill an Archangel, but I wanna wait. That? Yeah. Oh, you stupid morale crap. Bullshit. At least they're attacking in the same stack, which means I can resurrect it. <laughs> the stupid morale crap bullshit works wo both ways, apparently. Five and six, four and five. Closer to the gate, easier to come out for them to get slaughtered by me. Wait. Wait. The one downside is that it then goes in reverse order, so if I want to resurrect with my Archangels, I'm going to have to wait for another turn. Defend, defend. Defend, defend. Okay. And defend. More uh, maximum. I'm going to perish, but I can resurrect them all. Like so. At no mana cost. Excellent. And now, we take care of these guys. Flawless victory. Okay, we have a lot of stuff here. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, what day is it? Day 3. Resource silo, definitely. We really need that. Anything else? Not really. Where is this guy? He is kind of in range of Transom. I'm gonna just scout around a little bit more over here and... What? No. I can't go... That's really deceptive right there. Apparently I can cross that. <clears throat> more Efreet. Celestial Necklace of Bliss. Hmm. Strange name. Strange name, indeed. Training rounds. Okay, let's do some training rounds. Training rounds. Cool. And then. Trans. Having this guy here will also serve to hopefully deter any uh, attacks that might have otherwise occurred in an unfortunate fashion. And you, you just stay over there for now. Okay, more scouting. Ooh, Dragon Utopia! What the hell is that? Like, I have a feeling that it's a recruitment structure, kinda, but I'm also fairly certain that it's guarded, so I'm not going to go there yet. Let's see, okay, okay, shade, I'm gonna park her. And we're gonna keep scouting this. And I'm gonna park her here and I'm gonna scout later. Okay, anything we can build here? Mm. Stables. What? 10 and 2000, huh? Yeah, that's enough. Okay, 
So let's take care of this. Fire shield, no fire shield, don't you know? Unupgraded Efreet. 9. 9 11. Okay, next creature. One, two punch for these guys as well. Slash. Uh -huh. Evil fire genies. Pretty cool. Always oh, like Sertial Necrot of Bliss increases all four of your primary skills by plus three. That's a lot better than the necklace that I don't actually use for anything. <laughs> Uh, okay, now we are going to take care of this guy, or gal, as it were. Um, Hello! <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> and I'm gonna have some Pepsi while I'm at it. <clears throat> now, um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, from these feeble creature stacks, we can see why a sorceress hero would be very useful. Though, still, having extra units through clone and just great stats. I look at this, like, it's an archangel with 30 attack skill, 30 defense skill base, and after hero skill, it's 62 and 55. That's just fucking ludicrous. Like, that's just... That's just insane. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> but we could probably just chain lighting these guys and not lose any sleep over it. Um, which is exactly what we're gonna do. Exactly what we're gonna do. Chain lightning. We're gonna start with the Cerberi. So good to be in an army with two ranged creatures. Easy. And now let's handle these guys. Yes, I want to pursue. Six. Uh, they have six speed, right? Okay. Six and eight. I could. Forty-eight versus forty-eight. How much damage do they do? Ten to twelve. That should be enough to kill them. <laughs> should be enough to kill them. Let's see. Let's see if it's enough to kill them. If not, we'll put some shots with the marksman in them as well. Start combat. <clears throat> nom 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 nom. The showdown. Will there be any challenge? This guy is like 44 and 35. There will be no challenge. He's dead. And now we're in this unfortunate position. After all that planning, after all that planning, we wanted water magic, but we didn't find it anywhere, did we? Don't think we did. Unfortunate. Between the these two, I mean, right now, in combat, basic leadership would kind of make more sense. But just for the sake of finishing this scenario faster, I'm gonna take scouting. I'm gonna take scout. Let's see. So expert air magic, earth magic. Yeah, we wanted water magic, but it's not in this guy's normal uh, learning list, as far as I know. 
So that is a risk I took. Apparently it didn't pan out for me, but that's okay. You can go right back in there. Okay, did we recruit everyone here? Yes, we did. We are going to get some stables. What a castle. Castle more important than stables. Who would have thought? Same here. Let's just take this guy back to Rexenburg. See what else we can upgrade and recruit. And pass it to the main guy. And we're probably gonna try and speed through. Um, speed through the rest of this. Okay, um, things that I want to do include taking care of these Magans. Kana. Start combat. Uh, 32k damage. Should be enough. Good. The thing about water magic would have been that we could have used clone. Clone is in line with my um, general strategy of units at later uh, stages being able to do a lot more damage than spells. And we could even clone the Archangels for an extra uh, Resurrect. It's very versatile, especially if you have some nice creatures with interesting extra abilities. Um, Sandals of the Saint, pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. So we've cleared everything out in here. Cuthbert, you're gonna take the long way around. And so on you. I think we've got pretty much everything from the underground. Pretty much everything. Except for Battle Scar Academies. Which I still hesitate to make. Um, so, everything in this area. Let's go to Shade. Two hundred and forty mana points. Uh, we can get well, we can get some fun stuff here. Warn about the shoulder, this cape increases the combat speed of all units by plus two. Yes, please! Where do I sign for my soul to give away? Um, what does this do? Your luck and morale don't care. Uh, extra scouting for finishing this scenario faster. Sure. Left-handed item increases your defense skill by plus three. Um, maybe later. Maybe plus three, like I have a plus four, so yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay, that's that's enough. That is enough. And we wanna do. I wanna see what 
the heck is with this thing? Dragon Utopia Cartographer and that little stack of uh, creatures. What else can we do here? Um, <laughs> upgraded, 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 upgraded. Nothing. This one is done. We need a train around here. We want some stables here. And over yonder we can get the Griffin Bastion. Very good. Nothing is probably roaming for any enemies right now. Plus one spell power, of course. Do, 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 do. I don't think we can build anything this time. So, enter. Ah, never roaming here. Where is it? Right there. Okay, that's fine. I'll deal with that when I uh, get the chance. Beholder 7 and 8. 1 2 punch. Nom 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 nom. Let's see what this guy wants. He is willing to sell you a map of the tunnels for... Sure. I kept several sets of maps from... I already have a map of the tunnels. I... <laughs> well, you know, I'm feeling generous. I mean, the guy went through all that trouble to make a map, like... I mean... I have some money, like 51k, it's it's some money I could afford to pay him for his time. It's a shame to waste all that talent, you know. Um, and now, for the epic conclusion of building. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I need to build some training grounds here, right? Yep. Could maybe should build some training grounds there as well. Let's see if we can do. I actually can do. Uh, yeah, I can do this. Let's do 10. And we will do. We'll do some extra. Take some of those. Some of them. Oh. And we can build some training grounds here as well. And over here. Upgrade, 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 upgrade. Monastery. Five. We need five. Monastery. Good. Good, 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 good. And I will build some resource silos in here, why not? Why not? Because it's a waste of my money, but <coughs> I'm already doing it. Okay, so let's see what's with this Dragon Utopia thing. You stand before the Dragon Utopia, a place off limits to mere humans. Do you wish to violate this rule and challenge the dragons to a fight? Yes. Now, some, some interesting things. Black dragons immune to all spells. Green dragons immune to spell levels 1 through 3. Red dragons, same. And gold dragons 1 through 4. Red dragons. kinda weak. I think red dragons upgrade to black dragons. So that's interesting. And green dragons upgrade into gold dragons. Now, like I was saying, archangels are probably the fastest unit in the game. It also helps that I have plus three speed from Ar uh, Archives. Black Dragons 15 and 16. 
XP, 16 for gold. Yeah, now, what are we gonna do, you ask? Well, the thing that really helps us, the, the reason why I was mentioning how fast Archangels are, is because we can just do this. So now every single one of my creatures is faster than the dragons. And we can just wipe the floor with them, even though they're spell immune. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? So let's see, which one of these is more threatening to me right now? 26 or 27? 27, obviously. 4 stack of 27. Yeah, I have some of that. 917, yeah, I should do that. Should be enough. No, 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 no. Okay, 8. So we have 10 and 12. These guys, they can't kill any of these other stacks. And if I run them into one, they're probably just gonna die. So, uh, what was it? 12 is the fastest. Good. Uh, we're in luck because all our guys are faster than 12. So you can wait. And you... You are going to take a broken arrow to these guys. And you are going to take another 13. They can reach. So let's try to wipe these guys out. Cool. And we have some knights to slay some dragons. Charge! Save the princess! What? There's no princess? Well, at least we gave it a good shot. Ooh. Having defeated the black dragons, you discover the lion's shield of courage, the spellbinder's hat, the tome of fire magic, the archangel, the angel feather arrows, and 40,000 gold. Nice! The lion's shield of courage increases all four of your primary skills by plus four. That is a fucking awesome shield. When worn, this hat allows you to cast all 5th level spells. Tome of Fire Magic, all Fire Magic spells. Angel Feather Arrows, Archie, plus 15, and a lot of gold. That is a nice haul. Legs of the Legion, I should pass that off to someone uh, who can actually use it. Um, Archery, Courage. How much... How much more do I have? Help. I don't actually, I don't actually like fire magic. Sorry, it's just the way it is. Okay, that is that. And I am going to. I think I'm going to teleport to Shade. Buy some artifacts, and then. Um, move those to someone who can use them. Ooh, I have Dimension Door. Wait, is that because of... Oh, because of the hat. Yeah, and Fly. These are uh, two of the best... Actually, Air Magic is just so, so awesome. You get Haste. You even have Magic Mirror. Reflects hostile spells towards a random enemy creature for 40% of the time. I think... Uh, I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, you have Haste, you have Dimension Door, and you have Fly. But Haste and Dimension Door are the um, more important things there. So we are going to go to Shade. Shade. Shady business. We're gonna buy some more stuff. Here. We're gonna buy torso. We're gonna buy that. Let's check if we have them on the right hero. Good. Then we are going to port over to Alexandretta. Okay, we are going to get some more upgraded angels. And then we're going to hand them off. We have the torso, we have the 
Well, as long as everything cool, cool. Let's give him some stuff because why not? We have so much excess uh, equipment that we can afford to be a bit generous. Also, we can just let him have it. All your spells, I already have better stuff. Berserk, I'll keep that in case. Uh, I'll keep that in case. Nobody has. I mean. Anyway. Uh, yeah, that works. That works for me. Cool beans. So the next target is going to Enkindle. And uh, I'm gonna clear out the immediate area here. Okay. Cool. Ah, I should have waited for the. Should have waited for the stable bonus. Well, I can get it again. Uh, it's not gonna be a problem. Day of the Swirl. Well, let's go to Alexandretta. Get some stuff. Get some stuff. Get a lot of stuff. Get a lot of stuff. Sorry, forgot to turn off my phone. Um, that's enough stuff. And what I really want to do is go back to shame. Double my spell points again. 320. See, that is why. I don't really prioritize uh, knowledge. And now we have 29 power, 24 defense, 36 attack. If we would have had water magic instead of basic scouting, this would be the perfect hero, pretty much. He's, he's just insane. Like, he's just crazy. Just ludicrous. Like the rapper. The rapper, the rapper, the rapper. I mean. Um, <laughs> Ring of Infinite Gems. Whatever. We'll, um, we'll get that later. Also, we can start doing some really funky business. Don't want to walk. I'll just gate because I can. <laughs> a group of hellhounds with a wizard. I don't have the room, but since I'm not a dick, you can go. More attack and some more gating. Yes. This is this is a no contest thing. Zap. I'm gonna try to skip through this stuff a bit faster. Since we are really we don't really have any um, concerns, major concerns, right now. I am going to have to check if I can build anything interesting. Upgrades, 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 uh, upgrades, upgrades, upgrades. We have, we have, we have some um, cavaliers, but we don't have cavaliers here. We need twenty wood. Okay, we have stuff, you know, Portal of Summoning, 
there is a, an off chance that I could recruit some more castle units through it, but I'm not gonna risk it for nothing. Okay. And I'm not gonna do any more uh, huge recruitment drives since I'm like. I'm, can anyone deal with this army? No. So I'm gonna wait until I. Oh crap! 